Welcome to Step Into the Valley with Katrina Du at the Three Step Realty Group. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing our monthly market update for right here in Tracy. Now, first thing we want to take a look at is what's going on today, right now. Right now, we currently have 57 homes active on the market. That's 57 homes that are available for buyers to take a look at and write their offers. And we currently have 119 pending homes. Those are homes where buyers wrote their offers and sellers accepted them. Now, general rule of thumb is when you're looking at the pending homes versus the active homes, when you have a whole lot more pending than you do active, that's a sign that we're in a seller's market. Now, we really want to dive a little bit deeper and we want to take a look at the number of homes that sold. And what you can see there is that we have 86 homes that sold in August. Remember what we've said before in our last monthly market updates is we got to take a look at the past and keep a track of those numbers so we can trend them and try to predict what's going to happen in the future. <laughs> so let's take a look at August right now, or excuse me, for the 86 homes sold, the average sold price of those homes was $567,000, which was actually up 5.26% from August of last year. And if you look at all of these, this graph right here, and you look at all these months, what I did was I averaged all of those months, the average sold price of them, which, and compared it to the average sold price of all the homes that sold in 2019, and we're still above, up from last year, 5.44% overall. So things are looking good. The reason I'm sharing that with you is, and I'm going to keep track of those as we progress into each month, because we are coming upon our 2020 presidential election. And it's really important to kind of watch these numbers and see what's happening with our average sales prices. Because as we get closer into a presidential election, what sometimes happens is people get scared to buy homes. People get scared to sell homes because they don't know what's going to happen. doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or Republican. People kind of get a little scared and they want to see who's going to be voted in. So we're going to keep an eye on these numbers and we're going to share them with you every month. And if something big happens with the real estate market, we're going to jump in and give you that information. In the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel right here because every Friday we have a new video out for you. that we go that we do for you every month okay <laughs> and what we have to do is take a <laughs>